I'm Jefferson T. Menenses. And I'm Neil Ian Taugan. And I am Laika Mayo Claret. And we are PPR Computer Engineering students. And we are the delegates of 2019 Technology Exposure Visit in National Kaohsiung University of Science and Technology. On our first day, we went to Sandiman Township in Pingpong, Taiwan. And from there, we learned about the 16 different tribes of Taiwan and learn about their culture. After that day, we went to National Kaohsiung University and able to meet um, the Dean of International Affairs. Um, they taught us the introduction of LEDs. On our fourth day, after we had our breakfast, we meet our professor and they taught us about their research, which is specifically about heart and tuberculosis disease prediction. For me, the memorable experience that I've encountered is the food. Um, the taste of the food is uh, a little strange for me, and we get we get to um, visit their uh, famous market, which is the Rufeng Market. The funniest thing that happened to me in Taiwan is when one of our tour guides thought that I'm one of the Taiwanese organizers in, in our tour. So they they speak to me in their in their language, and I don't understand at all. I think for me it's on our last night when everyone is when everyone headed to Shinkuchan for shopping. We decided to stay on our hostel and Stanley, Alvin, and Patrick, the organizers, were there and we taught them the Dalagang Filipina pose, which is really famous in the Philippines. <laughs> when I was there, I became more innovative and creative person. For me, I learned to socialize where I get to talk to the local people out there. I think I was able to get out of my shell and be more confident um, in terms of exchanging discourse with the locals and communicating with them. Because of this experience, I was able to realize that I have so much things to learn and discover and I think I can do a lot better than before. And because of this, I was able to think that I am much more willing to pursue engineering as a career. For me, my knowledge about LED, image processing, and research have become more refined. Through all the experience, uh, I see myself on some of the students there. They're passionate on their um, studies. And for that, I, lo I learned to love my course more. <laughs> During our last classes in National Kaohsiung University, we were able to learn about pattern recognition based on deep learning. Um, now that we are on our fifth year, we, are, we have a subject which is method of research, which, which is basically our thesis. We can use um, image processing, the learnings about image enhancement in our thesis. For me, I was able to realize that there's more application of LEDs. Um, in their school, um, they, they apply the LEDs to catch some mosquitoes, like mosquito supper, and catch some squids, they use the lights to attract the squids and catch them. I had an insight about the use of engineering in medical field, wherein, for example, uh, biomedical, biomedical heart disease prediction, wherein they use image processing and signal processing in, in their research. It is our first international flight and the feeling is really exciting and so we get to experience their culture and we get to be friends with the people, especially um, Miss Yashin, Patrick, Alvin, and Stanley. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're also able to experience their food. Yeah, the strange uh, kind of feeling. Uh, uh, remember when I left my bag? And I was <laughs> able to pick it up on the school. We also get to experience how to buy food in their 7-Eleven. <laughs> and we, uh, we appreciate the people out there. Um, they are so hospitable and they're so... Um, but, you know, some, but sometimes we had a uh, difficult communicating to others because some of them can't really speak in uh, English well. And they have um, some different culture, right? Yeah. Yes. Of course, we'd like to thank our parents for 
funding us to go to Taiwan. But we try to catch up, right? <laughs> 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 someday we'll graduate. Eh. 